Welcome to the landmark Mandarin Korean soup uh, and today we're cooking a little bit of Dong Yam hot and sour soup with some red snapper and um, my name's David Thompson. There are many types of Dong Yam. They can be as simple as just some lemongrass simmered in some stock or water with a few clams and seasoned with lime juice and chili or it can become increasingly complicated. But today we're just going to do a little bit of red snapper and Dong Yam hot and sour soup made from some galangale, lemongrass, some chilies, seasoned with lime juice and fish sauce, and a fair amount of chilies. Some galangale, <coughs> just spice it quite thinly. There's no need to peel it, some lemongrass, a few red shallots, bruised, a little bit of turmeric, add a little bit of deep fried garlic, and just a few chilies as well. I'd like to add a little bit of tomato to this hot and sour soup as well because it just helps to add some colour to the soup. Then we'll add our fish. This is red snapper which we got from Hong Kong but you could use barramundi, you could use prawns, lobsters, scallops, almost any type of seafood can be used for a hot and sour soup. The thing about the dom yum is it's got to be fresh. It's got to be done immediately. Literally pounded and in, and then straight, uh, then served straight away. Add the fish, and just let that simmer until it's cooked. And this is a little trick that you don't often hear about, is that you season the soup in the bowl. You do not add the lime juice to the soup. That way the lime juice doesn't cook, it's more sour your seasoning for the amount that goes into the bowl. These are called pipkinu suet, which are little Thai chilies, green bird, bird Thai chilies. They are really very important to use. Some fish sauce, some coriander, and some long leaf coriander. Hot cheaper up. And a few more chilies. That way it becomes succulent, tart, fresh. The next thing is to do is you, you stir the, the, the pot, or the soup rather, because you want to incorporate, you want to mix this, the seasoning through. It should be sour and it should also be salty too. 